All right, so you're working from age 25 to 65, so that is 40 years, and it's monthly payments. So that means 40 times 12, that's 480 payments of, um, or deposits of $300, right? Um, and the APR is 6%, so the monthly rate is 6% over 12, 0 0.06 over 12, 0 0.005, right? So the monthly rate, by the way, is, you know, a half a percent. So you earn a half percent on whatever money's in the account each month. Um, let's see. And so then we get our formula out here. So nest egg is the annuity. No, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Um, the balance after T deposits is what we need, right? So balance after 300 deposits is the deposit amount 300 times one plus R to the power of T minus one. So I'm gonna go 1.005 to the power of 480. Oh, sorry, whoops, 480 deposits, I should have said. Balance after four change was for 80 and then subtract one and then multiply it by 100. So we, we go, we add the rate, we put the power of 480, then subtract one, then times 300, and the bottom of the fraction is just R, 0 0.005, right? So in a calculator, that's going to look something like this 300 times um, parenthesis. Uh, 1.005 to the power of 480, then subtract one, right? So let's get that much, and then we can divide by 0 0.005. So I guess one line will be good for that. And let me just check, 4.319. Yep, I got it right. Way. <laughs> so we get, you know, 597, 597,000, over half a million. 447.22. Now, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> so um, that's basically, this is a cool formula that, that shows an account where in the first month, um, you know, one, two, three, four, and the balance in the first month you've got three hundred dollars in the next month you've got interest on that so um half a percent of that is like a dollar fifty so three hundred one dollars fifty cents but then three hundred is deposited in there right so after the second month you got six hundred and one dollars and fifty cents and then you take a half a percent of that six oh whoops you know, 601.5 oh, um, times 0 0.005 
and it's about three dollars and so the next month we've got um, 604 uh, 50 and then we add 300 and so now we have nine hundred and four dollars fifty cents and you keep going up like that you add a little bit of interest and you add three hundred dollars add a little bit of interest and it goes on and on and on right but after a while as you know with time that half a percent per month is a big deal right and that really starts to add up so that's the point it's not it's not simply 300 times 480 payments which would only be um, 300 uh, times 480 which would only be 144,000 so it's a lot less isn't it right and so this is this is what we're talking about the power of compound interest right and the power of, right Does that makes sense so but of course I mean realistically we should totally round that to like the nearest ten thousand dollars or something because I mean seriously this answer to the nearest the nearest cent is so ridiculous first of all who works in the job same job for 40 years not many people do that anymore second of all like are you serious three hundred dollars every single month for for 40 years not going to happen think about inflation right third of all that interest rate is not going to stay the same <laughs> every year it's going to change so this whole thing you know like this is fine just to give us an idea of the power of some type of interest applied to applied to your regular deposits but to actually give it to near a cent is, is absolutely ridiculous so in the test i'm going to ask everybody to be rounding these things to at least the nearest thousand right because that's i mean come on you can't round that near a cent that's a, just a totally ridiculous situation it's just to give us an idea though right so 